Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, Luke 13, and today verse 18 and 19. And we're going to move over now into some uh, some parables. And you know, there's very long parables. There's very elaborate allegorical parable, parables, not too many, but a couple. And there's some that are very short. And some of these are some of the shorter ones. Here we go. Then he said, Jesus said, what is the kingdom of God like? And to what shall I compare it? It is like a mustard seed, which a man took and put in his garden, and it grew and became a large tree, and the birds of the air nested in its branches. Now, I, I happen to have a mustard seed, and I'm going to put it here, a, a picture of it on the screen. This is a mustard seed. It's a Mizuna. It's a Japanese mustard. And look at the size of that thing. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not the world's largest seed. That's, uh, that's a very, very small seed, one of the smallest seeds in Palestine. Jesus uses the mustard seed to indicate, and notice the, uh, the parable. Now, again, when we come into parables, uh, interpreting parables is, is one place where a lot of people can go way out and be totally lost and, and miss the point. Most parables have one main point. You can't try to make every single piece stand up. But this is a small parable, so it's not a lot of trouble. So what we have here is the kingdom of God is like something. What is Jesus compared to? It's like a mustard seed, which is the small, tiny, tiny, tiny seed. You put it in your garden and it grew and became a large tree and the birds of the air nested in its branches, he says. So here's something that's very small and yet it becomes a dwelling place for all the birds of the air, okay? So, so this is taking something that's tiny and it grows and encompasses and becomes all. God's kingdom looks small, it looks wimpy, it looks weak. How could this be, you know, survival of the fittest? That's what we've been taught, right? All the way through the state school system. We call it the public school. I call it the state school system. I grew up in the state school system here in America. And all we heard all the way through was evolution, evolution, evolution. And this isn't the place probably to plow into all of that. But, uh, you know, the idea there is survival of the fittest and the meanest, most uh, aggressive, vicious creatures uh, they win and the uh, any, any other creature... Is, is wiped out. So that's the picture. And Jesus' picture is the tiniest, the smallest, actually in the end. This is kind of the tortoise and the hare. And so this is a case where small things become large and overturn all other things. In this case, the kingdom of God is the small thing that it becomes large and overturns all other things. God's kingdom will be the mode for eternity, for humanity, and so it's kind of a good thing to tune up right now and get on to the kingdom plan right now because this is where we're headed for all eternity. And it's the program of unselfishness unlimited, unselfishness for all eternity. That's a pretty fine plan. Imagine that all of your neighbors, all the people around you, all the beings and creatures around you, they're all unselfish and glad to minister to others. That's where we're going. That's where God wants us to be. It's a blessing and you and I are called to be a part of that. I mean, we are so blessed. Let's pray to him and thank him. Father in heaven, yes, we are so blessed. Something small and insignificant and looking like it's going to be just crushed and destroyed. And yet your gospel becomes the plan for the whole universe, for living, for life, for goodness. Now, Lord, you're inviting us to have a part in that. It's just, so, it's, thank you. Yes, Yes, a thousand times yes is my prayer, and I hope it's the prayer of each one hearing this. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. What privileged people we are to have that opportunity. It's not because we're just good and God is uh, recruiting us because we're good. God is taking the least, and he's going to turn, turn us to good things. May his blessing be upon you, and may you manifest the kingdom even today.